Hi, and welcome to Steve's Retro Computers. Today we will be taking a look at the Macintosh 128K. This computer is highly sought after in the vintage computer realm due to the fact that it is the first Macintosh and one of the very first computers to have a genuine GUI interface. Um, in addition to having one being one of the first computers with a genuine GUI interface, it is also one of the very first computers to be successful in the GUI interface realm. Other compu computers such as the Lisa and the Park were complete and utter failures. The Macintosh 128K shares a very unique design and you simply turn it on using a switch on the back which then emits a little buzzing sound. When turning on the machine, you'll be greeted by a logo asking to put a floppy disk into your computer. Putting in the floppy disk in your computer will, act, will open up a realm of all sorts of programs. This machine has no internal storage, so everything has to be done off of floppy. This program, Paint, you just simply insert into the machine and put it in. Once, once putting it in, uh, you will be able to run any program you would like to run. Here we have the Macintosh booting up its operating system. When booting up its operating system, you will usually be greeted by a little Happy Mac. If you are greeted by a sad Mac, your machine is broken. Then you will get the friendly welcome to Macintosh and your screen will boot up. Now, this interface is very similar to the OS X of today. You could take someone from this era of computing and put them in front of an OS X computer and they would probably find their way around very easily. Um, discussing Macintoshing um, the Macintosh's hardware, it does include a um, Motorola 6800 processor and uh, of course a um, Sony DB19400K drive. When purchasing a Macintosh 128K you should look on Craigslist or eBay. Most Macintosh 128Ks can go from anywhere from $300 to $50 to $2,000 depending on the um, on what exactly the vintage machine has and what is included and if it all works properly. But even broken machines can go for anywhere from $150 to $300. A machine in this condition would probably run you about $550 uh, depend because I have the original mouse, um, the keyboard, and um, all the manuals. Scratch that, I do not actually have the original keyboard, but I ha almost have the original keyboard. Uh, um, I hope you enjoyed my video, and I hope this was helpful in uh, explaining the original Macintosh. Have a good day. Bye-bye.